Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I am going to be sharing a few clean and simple cards using the product sent to me by Cocorosa Studio. Before I dive in into the process of two of these cards, I am going to quickly show you the cards. So this is one tropical set with the lovely plumerias and the tropical leaves. And that is a look at the card that I have created with this. Next up is this fall inspired leaf and acorn set. That's a look at the card that I have created with all that shimmer and shine from the Lindy's. Then we have these cute bottles with flowers and this is the card that I have created using that set. Then there's this artsy paintbrush with the paint splotch set. And again, I have a simple, clean and simple and vibrant card. And then I have two cover dies. So first up is the circle cover die. And um, there are so many ways of using cover dies. But today I wanted to create that clean and simple look. And that is the card that I've created with just a single sentiment being the focus and that cover die. And last up is this puzzle pieces cover die and I really enjoyed using this. So now in all my clean and simple white space cards, I'm going to bring in my signature vibrant colorful card here. I love how this has turned out. The ink blending, the colors on the begonia that's from Alt News new release. And then just using that die, cutting all those pieces out and that perfect sentiment, you complete me. I thought this really turned out very cool. So that's the complete set of cards that I am sharing today. And I will be sharing a tutorial for the plumeria and the fall leaves. So let's hop on over to that. This is one of the set which has the tropical flowers and foliage image. And the quality of the dye is pretty sturdy and it does cut precisely. I already have the elements die cut and I am going to color them by blending inks. So I will be using mid yellow and coral red. These are all new fresh dye inks for the flowers. And for the leaves, I am going to mix up a few colors of green inks from Tropical Forest and Green Valley set. I will be using my mini blending tools to blend in the colors. And for the flowers, I'm going to pick in the mid yellow and blend ink right in the flower centers. And now I will pick in the coral red and blend that right from the edges of the petals, bringing it inwards to create a nice orange blend right there. You can see I am not picking too much ink. I'm not even picking ink from the ink pad. I'm just using ink left over on the lid to blend in the inks. To get a nice soft looking plumeria. And this is a little bud, so I am going to just color the yellow and coral red there before I begin with the foliage. So I am going to mix in olive and grass fields for the green. I will also add a tiny bit of mid yellow just to get a nice toned effect on my leaves.
Now I have a regular A2 card base here and what I'm going to do is just create a little ink blending in the background using the mid yellow. I have this negative die cut from a circle die. So all I'm going to do is just place it where I want to create a little spotlight in the background for these colored elements. Just place it there. Use a little washi to hold that down in place so that it doesn't move when I'm blending inks. And just use mid yellow to blend in. So I'm using this negative die cut as a stencil to blend a circle on the card base. And with that, we have a simple spotlight circle right there. And now on this, I can just begin to create a little composition for my floral clusters. When I'm doing this, I'm just working around the edge having a few elements within the yellow circle offsetting them so that they overhang and just creating a sense of balance and when i'm happy with the composition i'm just going to glue I'm going to use a few pearls just to add the flower centers here. And I am going to use the thinking of you sentiment and add that with black obsidian pigment ink. Right there near my entire composition so that it's going to be anchored within that spotlight again overhanging slightly outside of it. And to complete it I am going to add a few black splatters and black sequins. And that makes for a simple delicate card just with dyes as a focus. Now for the next card I will be using this fall themed die set. For this I thought I'd use a different medium to color the die cuts and so I have Lindy's Gang sprays here. Now this is the steampunk soiree set and I thought I would mix up these colors to create nice fall themed leaves. 
I am also going to use a magical, this is tears on my pillow tangerine to bring in a little orange. The sprays have the pigment powder mixed with water. So that will help us getting the color flowing. And then I can pick in the magicals to add a little orange. So for the leaves, I'll first begin with yesteryear yellow. Spraying a little water to further get that color moving. And to get a little orangish tone now, I can pick in the magical the pigment powder from the magical and sprinkle that on the wet, moist areas. A little more water. And with that, you can see we have a nice effect with the splattering, the orange, the yellow, just flowing around. With such a technique, all we have to do is let the water work its magic with the colors. I am going to spray a little bandolier brown as well to bring in some shades. And now I'm going to set this aside as it is to naturally dry instead of really using my heat tool because when it organically dries, you know, we can achieve a nice toned shaded look. So here is a look at the elements all dried up and you can see what I was talking about just by adding a little spray from multiple colors. So I did go back in with Petticoat Plum as well to get a little bit of that purple deep red tone. And that has created instant texture and dimension and you know with some leaves looking kind of frayed and oxidized like a natural oxidization process of the leaves. I thought this set worked perfect for this fall die set. Now I have a card base here. This is an A2 card base and my card front is just slightly smaller. And what I've done is scored lines to create a textured background. So that again adds a nice level of interest to the background. And now all I'm going to do is create a little composition and glue these elements down, add my sentiment and complete the card. And of course, I added a sentiment to complete the card. And now one final touch, I am going to add a little splatter that will bring everything together. And this time I am going to just use the sprays and add the splatter. So I'm going to go in with the same yesteryear yellow and open up my bottle set aside the spray nozzle and use my paintbrush, dip it in, pick color and then add splatter. And that's it, that completes this particular card with all that texture, the frayed oxidized look, creating a nice natural texture and dimension on the leaves. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and I have been able to inspire you. Until the next time, take care and bye-bye.